daily dispatch powered by HSBC. Well, joining us for this very special interview is Raghav Joshi uh, from Rebel Foods. Thank you very much, Raghav, for joining us today on the Daily Dispatch. It's been a very busy uh, week and month for you because some new funds have come in, and of course, that's accelerating your growth plans uh, at Rebel Foods. Tell us a little bit about what the funds really mean for you. Um, see, at a at an overall level, the uh, in fact, first of all, thank you so much for inviting us here. Uh, very excited to be here. Thanks, Priya, and thanks uh, uh, the team. Uh, in terms of uh, the funding, yes, you know, uh, funding and a higher valuation that's always um, you know good to have from the perspective of validation of the business model, continued investor confidence, um, backing us. Uh, in our journey towards, uh, you know, towards achieving our vision. Uh, so excited to, uh, you know, um, propel our journey from here on uh, over the uh, over the foreseeable future. Um, this opens up, um, you know, our foray into uh, investing and acquiring brands in the space, uh, in the food space uh, specifically, which uh, move us towards our vision of uh, addressing. Uh, you know, all the important uh, customer food missions uh, in every neighborhood um, through uh, high quality brands. Um, and um, um, that's where we are investing close to $150 million uh, over the next uh, 12 months uh, to uh, invest in and acquire brands, which, which allow us to fulfill this vision. Right, uh, Raghav, I want to understand in terms of uh, how the festive period has really been for Rebel Food because we've seen um, Diwali period pan out and now we are, you know, in a very interesting uh, time of the year, New Year's, Christmas time when people want to order in some good food um, as well. Uh, so what kind of demand uh, have you seen shaping up? The demand is absolutely, uh, you know, phenomenal, I would say, uh, especially over the last uh, four to five months. In fact, uh, you know, right from the Ramadan period uh, in April and May when Bheru started seeing a spike um, and along with that IPL, after that T20. So some of these uh, events were also there, you know, uh, in the in the last few months. We've also done a lot of work in the last uh, 12 months, I would say, to build a lot of customer first uh, offerings, uh, you know, for... Um, for our for our customers, for example, in Oven Story, we have launched uh, butter chicken pizza, which is which is doing very well in in Behrouz. We've launched Mephile Behrouz um, and a number of other things, which are which we feel are very unique offerings, and we are seeing very good traction of customers, um, you know, accepting these, ordering again, uh, and. October to December period anyway is always a period which sees a lot of customers ordering in, winters are sitting in, um, so a lot of uh, demand for our cakes also in the Sweet Truth brand. So, so uh, all in all, uh, you know, very excited to be part of this uh, this period of uh, continued uh, momentum and uh, looking forward to ending the year on a high. Right. Uh, I also want to understand in terms of your expansion strategy, in terms of stores, as well as the kind of cloud kitchens that you have, what's the plan for 22? So uh, we have about 370 odd kitchens now in India, spread across uh, 60 cities. And in fact, over the next uh, couple of weeks, this number should increase to 75 cities. So uh, we are in very aggressive expansion mode, as you can uh, you know uh, figure out. I mean, uh, adding 15 cities over the next couple of weeks, that's what we are planning uh, in India. Internationally also, um, we are there in 10 countries now. We plan to add another 10 countries next year. Uh, in India, we plan to add, uh, continue adding kitchens and cities and we should be close to you know 500 plus kitchens in the next 12 months and 700 plus I would say in the next uh, 24 months. So, so we are very bullish on India's uh, you know uh, appetite for food ordering uh, and that's where our rebel operating system which which hosts our brands and also you know hosted brands acquired brands invested brands you know together we feel that uh, we are uh, in an absolutely great place to uh, to fulfill the growing appetite of the indian consumer 
so so all in all uh, you know we should be seeing about a 40 to 50% network expansion um, in india and doubling of our international footprint over the next 12 to 18 months right you know i also want to understand in terms of average order value because i believe that's gone up during this pandemic uh, specifically with so many people ordering in food um, and complete meals at home so give us a perspective in terms of what's the kind of average order value that you're seeing and how you expect it to shape up going forward during the pandemic we started seeing the average order value going up because a lot of people started uh, you know living together uh, kids for example moved in with their parents uh in many cases uh and instead of one person ordering a single item you know the entire family started ordering so the average order value definitely increased i would say that now with with the markets opening uh you know people moving back to uh, cities offices reopening this is seeing some sort of uh, reversal but it is still pretty healthy compared to compared to the pre covid level so uh so i would say still uh, it's at a level of uh, about uh 30 to 40% higher than the pre covid levels uh on the average order value it went up to as high as 60 to 70% higher than the pre covid levels it has come back a little bit but still at a very very healthy level uh and some of our brands which are uh, uh which are premium brands uh such as behrus uh, avant story pizza you know they continue to do very well sweet truth and that is further adding to their increase in the share of our overall portfolio is further uh increasing the average order value for us compared to the pre covid levels right uh, you know going forward i want to understand what kind of key metrics are you working on in terms of targets uh if you could share some uh, short to medium term targets that you set for yourself we are already way past our pre covid levels but at least doubling them in the in the next few months itself is the bare minimum that we are looking at right and uh, you know you've spoken about aggressive expansion both internationally as well as domestically uh, do you think you need more uh, funds to fuel this kind of growth considering that uh, you already are going to be allocating about 150 million dollars in uh, investing in other new opportunities and brands some uh, of the capital will definitely go towards uh, expansion of the network i would say uh, but a big part is also you know going to be focused on fulfilling the the mission gaps that we have by investing in high quality brands um uh, but but yeah i mean uh, i would say uh, a minority part of the funding will definitely be uh, invested towards uh, expansion as well so these are these are really a uh, couple of buckets that that are there apart from that we are significantly investing in uh, uh, automating our Uh, our networks our technology you know using technology to build customer for solutions uh, so these are the three broad buckets uh, where uh, you know we are deploying the funding you know rather give us some flavor in terms of what kind of brands you're looking to acquire uh, i mean if you could give us some categories as to which are the categories of interest to you at this point essentially we are looking at categories where we are not present ourselves so if you look at our portfolio we have fasos as the raps brand behrus biryani avant story pizza um so and we have a partnership with wendy's on burgers some of the categories where we are not present include uh, indian sweets which which is a very important uh, customer mission i would say and especially spiking during festive periods um uh, categories uh, such as uh, snacks indian snacks i would say um south indian these are south indian food these are some of the interesting categories where we see sizable market we also see some players doing very well in this and we are talking to them already so in the next few weeks we should be uh, you know announcing uh, some great partnerships in this regard but these are some of the ones which are which are right up there in terms of our focus all right raghav on that note many thanks for joining us today it's been a pleasure speaking with you and we wish you all the very best for your expansion and growth path in 2022 Thank you very much. Uh, Happy New Year to all the listeners and readers, uh, and uh, and thanks, Priya, for the time. Mm-hmm.